The work of turning palm juice into sugar is quite painstaking. The cooking process alone can take more than two hours and a lot of firewood, which the villagers say eats at their profits. <laughs> Now a new stove is offering them some relief. His family is among 110 families in Chiang Mong Commune, Kampong Chenang province, who have embraced the new stove to make sugar. It is built from bricks and has a ventilation system to allow firewood to burn more efficiently. Also, it is designed in such a way that it helps to trap the heat and flame inside to boil the juice faster, thus shortening the length of cooking time. <laughs> With the traditional stove, it takes 130 minutes to boil 35 litres of palm sap in a giant pot to get just 5 kilos of concentrated palm sugar. With the new stove, the juicers now spend only 100 minutes to cook the juice. As a result, they are able to reduce by 30% the amount of wood needed for the entire production season, from December to May. That is according to the report of the Association for Human Resource Development and Health Education, an NGO which has introduced a new stove to the villagers. The NGO is carrying out the project as part of Climate Change Mitigation Initiative, supported by Global Environment Facility Small Grant Program through UNDP. In Cambodia, sugar palm trees hold a national symbol status due to a variety of purposes it serves. The leaves and bark are used to make rope, fans, hats, mats and roofing sheets. And of course the juice is extracted to make sugar which is a must-have item in every home kitchen. Reliance on firewood as a source of energy has been known to be one of the many factors causing pressure on the forest in Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fair point. That's why introducing energy efficient cook stove is one way of addressing the problem while at the same time helping villagers to keep their business alive and their families out of poverty.